This is Heather with the Eastern Panhandle Conservation District, and today's read aloud is from Usborne Books, their Lift the Flap First Question and Answer series, and it is titled, What Makes It Rain? So a lot of times we talk about rain and how great rain is and the water cycle, but we don't always talk about what actually makes it rain. So this read aloud book is going to go over that. What makes it rain? Little drops of water in clouds. When they get heavier, they fall as raindrops. This little boy says, is it going to rain today? What's it like inside of a cloud? How big is a raindrop? It can be this size, which is pretty little, or it can be almost as big as a bug. Why are these flowers drooping? because it hasn't rained for a while. Plants need water from rain to live and grow. How does water get into the sky? This is called evaporation, so part of the water cycle. On warm days, water in puddles, lakes, and seas heats up and drifts into the sky above. This water will fall again as rain one day and we call rain in the water cycle precipitation. When do rainbows appear? Rainbows arch across the sky when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. But what are rainbows made of? Light from the sun bounces off raindrops and splits into rainbow stripes. Do all rainbows have the same stripes? Yes. But when a second rainbows appear above the first one, the stripes are flipped. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And a trick to remembering the colors is if you remember Roy, R-O-Y, G, Biv. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. But where's the sun if it's rainy and cloudy, right? It's behind you. When you're looking at a rainbow, the sun is always behind you. Can I touch a rainbow? No, you can't even get close enough to try. As you move nearer, the rainbow appears to move away. How can I make a rainbow? Get a garden hose on a sunny day. Squirt a fine spray of water. If the sun is behind you, the rainbow will appear in the spray. So what's at the end of a rainbow? Some stories say there's a pot of gold, but you can never reach the end to find out. How hot is the sun? On its surface, the sun is 60 times hotter than boiling water. That's pretty hot. And it, its middle is 3,000 thousand times hotter than its surface. Wow. Birds wake up with the sun and they go tweet tweet. How does the sun move across the sky? It doesn't. The sun actually stays still. It's the earth that spins around making day and night. But where does the sun rise? In the east and it sets in the west. But why shouldn't I look at the sun? Because its light is so strong it can damage your eyes. So they actually make special sunglasses that you can look at the sun with. Why is it colder in the winter? Because in winter the earth tilts away from the sun. So is the sun really a star? Yes. But the sun is closer than the other stars, so it looks much bigger. What makes sunsets orange and red? Sunlight is made up of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet light. So remember that rainbow? When the sun is low in the sky, sometimes only the red and orange light reaches us. Sunflowers turn to face the sun. That's why they call them sunflowers. Why does lightning flash? So, and thunder rumbles. So lightning is the flash we see when electricity jumps from a cloud. But how does lightning happen? 
So they zoomed into this storm cloud right here. So drops of water and ice rub against each other and make electricity. So in that cloud, there's actually water and ice up in there. So what shapes can lightning make? Uh-oh, I can't get my little flap open. There we go. Forks are the most common. Other shapes are sheets, then we have beads, ribbons, and balls. Does lightning ever strike buildings? Yes, they have special lightning rods. The rods guide the lightning safely into the ground. Is lightning dangerous? Yes, it can be. You're safe if you're indoors though. That's why you never want to stand underneath trees or out in the open when a storm comes. Always go inside to be safe. So let's talk about thunder now. So why is thunder so loud? Because lightning is so hot, the air around it heats up amazingly quickly. It makes a sound like an explosion. Boom! Why do you see lightning before you hear thunder? Because light travels faster than noise, so the light reaches us first. So here they're riding their bikes, and they said, let's get home before the storm. So how far away is the storm? Count the seconds between the lightning and thunder to find out. So three seconds is one kilometer away, and five seconds is one mile away. Where does wind come from? Because you know, if we've got a storm, there's always wind. So what makes the wind blow? Wind is air moving around us up in the sky. So how strong is the wind? Breezes are gentle and slow. Gales are strong and fast. But hurricanes are the strongest and fastest and can flatten a house. Can I see wind? No, you can only see it, how it makes other things move. And then short puffs of wind are called gusts. So what does this do in the wind? Does anybody know? It whirls round and round and round. So some people call this a pinwheel, and I've heard other people call it a whirly gig. I kind of like the whirly gig name. So What's a tornado? A speedy spinning funnel of air that sucks things up. Tornadoes start suddenly and can cause lots of damage. Are waves bigger on windy days? Yes, waves are made by the wind blowing across the sea. The stronger the wind, the bigger the waves. And if you've ever been to the beach, then you know for a fact that a super windy day, they've got really, really big waves. So let's talk about another form of precipitation, and that's snow. So why does it snow? Snow falls on chilly, cloudy days when it's too cold for rain. So what is snow made of? Snowflakes, and here's one up close. And did you know that no snowflake is the same? And they're all made out of ice. So where does the snow come from? It comes from the clouds in the sky above us. How deep can snow get? Deep enough to cover a house. Some animals make burrows or dens in the snow. Can you think of an animal that makes a den in the snow? Think of a polar bear making their snow dens. Whoosh! They're having some fun. So where does snow go? When it gets warmer, it melts, turns to water, and trickles away. And out west, the states out there really depend on snowfall in the mountains because that's how they fill up their aquifers and their rivers for the year. So how do snowflakes get their shapes? They start as an ice crystal with six sides. The crystal grows six arms, then another crystal joins on and makes amazing shapes. And like I said before, no snowflake is the same. 
So what is a hailstone? A hailstone is a frozen drop of water that falls from a thundercloud. Some are as big as a bird and they can do a lot of damage. So how do you make a snowman? There we go. So you start by rolling a snowball through the snow to make a big body. Then you roll a smaller ball to go on top for a head and then you can decorate your snowman. See there? All right, so that is all about rain and even snow, though so I hope you enjoyed our book about rain today.